Hello Internet, um, in Pulsau right now. Um, I want to talk about ambassadors. They are a part of a, a system of international diplomacy that's been going on for centuries now. And the way it works in most countries is you will have, um, a country will have a, some number of embassies, those embassies are typically staffed by an ambassador uh, who may be serv serving or, or ambassador to more than one country in many cases, and especially for smaller countries that can't afford to have an infinite number of embassies all over the place. Um, and then they may have uh, some other staff. A charge to affairs is a common thing. That's basically the person who represents the country when the ambassador is ill or abroad or uh, elsewhere for whatever reason and you might have some local staff and, and so on. The thing is, um, ambassadors are hired in a number of ways. They can be hired on the basis of uh, their experience within the uh, foreign affairs system in the country they come from. They can be hired on the basis of uh, political appointments in many cases. And uh, occasionally they come from elsewhere within the system. So somebody coming in from a different ministry or different parts of the, uh, the government they represent, but not necessarily um, a career foreign uh, service person. Now, the reason this is interesting is because there is a tendency among countries to try and make sure that the people representing them abroad are actually skilled in doing so. That makes sense, right? But um, there's also a kind of conflicting tendency of the politicians whose job it is to appoint the ambassadors to use the ambassadorships as a kind of, um, should we call it, a a gesture of thanks, a a, a bit of a a uh, nice thing to be given to people who have supported them in their political career, often friends, that kind of thing. Now, I've worked in foreign affairs related stuff. I've seen how these different types of ambassadors uh, function in practice, and I will say that there is a huge difference, right? On the one hand, you have the career foreign service workers who are incredibly good at their jobs. They know the political landscape, they know the history, or normally they will learn the history. They will often put in an effort to learn the language. They will, um, they will, they will pick up a bunch of stuff along the way. And they will often have had various uh, postings elsewhere in, in the time they've been in the foreign service. On the flip side, you have the political appointees who typically come in thinking this is a bit of a nice vacation. They often have little to no skill in foreign affairs or diplomacy, uh, have very little insight into the countries they're representing. Uh, that is to say, rep uh, representing two, so where they're posted. And often they just don't really care. Um, when large countries do this, they're normally sending the, the political appointees to silly places like, you know, where, where, the, where the importance of the diplomatic representation is very low. Uh, however, when they, you know, are appointing to the important countries, the, important, the countries that they have very strong relationships with, they will often appoint people who have significant experience and know what they're doing. Smaller countries, on the other hand, don't really have that kind of, um, should I say, luxury. They don't have a lot of embassies because they can't afford to have a lot of embassies. So it's important that they have experienced career people in every role, which makes it all the more embarrassing when countries uh, decide to start handing out ambassadorships as like candy to friends of the people in, in power. Often those ambassadorships last for a very long time and often they you know, don't go 
away when the appointment is done, they just hang around on a very nice salary for a very long time. It varies from country to country, but the point I wanted to make with this video is just to say, if ambassadors are being politically appointed, it's normally a very strong sign that there's a lot of corruption going on and the people who are governing the country don't actually give too many shits about the details about how their country is being represented abroad. And if you care at all about, you know, cultural exchanges, international business, the success of your country in general, you probably want to say something when that kind of shit is happening because it's not good.